And now from WFFT, this is your local sports. Great news coming in from Indianapolis earlier today as the team inked their first round draft pick, Philip Dorsett. The Colts announced the good news and praised the wide receiver for being fast, smart, and having great hands. The 5'10 speedster out of Florida signed a four year deal that's worth about four. 7.4 million bucks in guaranteed money. As for the rest of the team, well, they're right in the middle of week six of their eight week offseason program, taking part in OTA number five today. Guys out on the field in helmets and shorts this afternoon getting in some great work. Vontae Davis, Kobe Fleener, and Jack Muhort were in action after missing last week, but Vic Ballard. Frank Gore and Robert Mathis were held out. The highlight of today's practice was the young receiving core, including Dorsett, who beat his defender down the line. As always, there is a lot expected from this year's team. There's high expectations for Mr. Dorsett, and that's, to me, that's nothing different than my first day in the building. I, I remember walking in, and it wasn't, okay, let, you know, let's go win a couple games and see how, see how good you can do. It was, you know, let's, we're making it to the playoffs to try and win a Super Bowl. That was as a, as a rookie, you know, the first day walking in the building. So. You know, I don't. I don't think that bar, uh, standard has has changed at all since since I've walked into this building. And uh, you know, it's great to know you have an owner that wants to win. LeBron James has said that he is a guy that believes in unfinished business. So he went back to Cleveland on a mission to end the city's championship drought. And by the looks of things, he's going to do it. Last night, the Ohio boys banded together and put a beat down on the Hawks, led by King James. Action early, Cavs up three. Nice pickpocket by 23. Nicer finish. One hand jam. Home team up 9 4. Skip to the second, 46 33, Cleveland. Check this out, J.R. Smith, little shake to create space and nail the three-point bucket. Cleveland up by 16. Then they go ahead and finish him off by 30. Final score, 118-88. LeBron racked up 23 points and nine boards with J.R. Smith adding another 18. To be able to sit at one point during the season and see us at 19 and 20, watching my team struggle, me sitting out two weeks, and they wanted Coach Black fired. Saying we needed another point guard. Will LeBron and Kyrie be able to play together? And so many storylines were just happening at that point in time. And you know, for us to be sitting at this point today, being able to represent the Eastern Conference in the finals, it's special. It's very special. Meanwhile, Golden State with another shot at eliminating the Houston Rockets. Game five being played tonight out in California. This game still going on as we speak. The Warriors ahead at the half, 52-46. As for the Mad Ants team here in the Summit City, well, the NBA D-League named the organization the 2014-2015 Development Champion. This award goes out to the team that does the best job of developing NBA talent. Listen to this. Last season, 11 athletes from eight different NBA teams were assigned to Fort Wayne, playing in a total of 64 games for the Ants. Dante Jones being one of them who helped earn a call-up in January, then signed with the Clippers. 56 ballers, also time in the D-League, with 47 D-League athletes getting called up to play with the big boys. Both of those numbers, by the way, are records. Something pretty cool happening for Coach Matt Painter today as USA Basketball announced its coaching staff for the fantasy camp in Sin City, and his name is on the list. The head honcho out of Purdue will hit Las Vegas in August for the three-day camp that gives basketball enthusiasts the chance to train like a member of the USA national team. He'll join seven other coaches, including Kentucky's John Calipari. All right, gang, you're going to want to stick around because coming up, we'll touch base with the Tin Caps and even have a little something from the high school kids. Back to Audra.